So tell me a little bit about Captain Flint. He's kind of our anchor in the show, I'm guessing. Yeah, no, Captain, no pun intended. Captain Flint is the is the captain of the Walrus. Uh, he is the most, uh, or he has historically been the most successful uh, pirate on this island of Nassau. Um, but he's been going through a kind of fallow period, and his men are beginning to become um, slightly unruly, and they and they're wanting to vote on another ca uh, captain, because because what happened was on these pirate ships there was a democracy where they used to vote their captain on and off. If you didn't deliver as a captain, they got rid of you, and so we meet Captain Flint on. Uh, he's pursuing this kind of he's pursuing a treasure galleon, um, and but his crew are just going. You know, we're not making any money, and they they want to get rid of him. So, you know, he's got to hang on to power. Okay. Is he a hero, or is he kind of a flawed hero? What, what would you describe him as? Um, I think we're going for um, really one of the. I, I think what's great about a lot of TV series now is that they create these very complex characters that are very nuanced, and it's hard to say whether he's a hero or an anti-hero. Um, it, it, and, and a lot of the moral decisions of all the characters are questionable, but, but they're human, so you understand, the audience will understand the motivations, even though they may not like them sometimes, you know, and, and the thing is, Captain Flint is one of those characters where you, you, you're intrigued by him, he's very enigmatic, you like him, he's got a charm, but at the same time, he does terrible things, which makes it hard for you to... To understand him at times, but I, I think in the long run he's a very he's he's an intriguing character and people should like him. Yeah. What's more challenging, the just the the character stuff you were talking about or the action in the show? I think what's the most enjoyable is the character stuff. Um, I mean, you know, the action stuff is is actually when you get down to it, is a lot of hard work. It's long, tedious days where you're just you know, you're just grinding through this action action stuff. I mean, it's great, and it, the end stuff looks fantastic, but but. The re it's really the character work that I really enjoy doing. But I mean, in terms of the action, what, what, what is important about this show is that what we're trying to create is something that's very visceral and very real. So we're not glorifying, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not creating some show about pirates where, you know, it's some romantic thing where they're all doing, it's all great fun. It's actually very, it, it's much more creating a sense of what it would have been like. Actually, it was scary being stuck on a boat that's being raided by a pirate ship. There's nowhere to escape to. This massive kind of chunks of wood flying all over the place because they're cannonballs coming through your hull. I mean, it, it was a terrifying experience, and that's what we want to create. Um, so, John, tell me the origins of the story. It has ties to Treasure Island, I believe? It is, um, yeah. It's, it's, it's essentially a Treasure Island prequel. It's very loosely structured, especially early in the series, um, but it's, uh, it lives in a few different worlds. I mean, there's, there's Treasure Island mythology that, um, that, that's part of the structure. Um, there are historical characters that we've adapted into this world, and then there's um, a constructed part of the um, uh, constructed characters that, that we've made out of, essentially out of historical models and, and composites and stuff. Okay, so, so like Da Vinci's, is it kind of based on something, but not necessarily following everything to it? Yeah, more or less. I mean, I think um, tonally we always want it to feel like, um, even when it isn't, uh, it isn't completely adhering to the historical record, that it that it feels real, um, that it's something that could have happened. So. Now, you know, on the surface, it looks like a pirate show, is what you could call it. How much is character a part of the show and just, you know, getting to know these characters and following the character journey, not just the bigger right. pirate story? Um, everything. I mean, I, I think um, ultimately the action doesn't matter if you don't care what's happening to, to the people in the middle of it. So I think, um, you know, the, the goal for us at the beginning was to be able to tell a show, um, to make a show that, that felt... Uh, um, it felt complicated on a character level, but that was able to do big set piece action. Um, that was able to be, um, I think, uh, you know, what what I and Stars and Michael hoped it would be, which is um, an, a really uncompromised version of of this world. Okay. Well, it sounds very male centric, but there are women in the cast. What are women representing in the show? Um, I think uh, it, it was really important to Robert and I that um, that the female characters weren't just. Um, there are prostitutes, there are female pirates, but that there are women in this world who, um, who are, you know, it's a, it, it's a story about the breakdown in social norms in, in, in this place. And, and I think um, part of telling that story is understanding how, how there are women who um, were able to, to take on uh, positions of authority that they probably couldn't have held really anywhere else in the world at that point.